Hey, what is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I hope that each and every one of you is having a great day wherever you are. So before we get into today's video, I just want to go ahead and say that yes, I do have my coilovers. That DIY is coming and then the review on them. Uh, if you want to know more about them, go check out the video I did. That video is not clickbait. I just haven't got around to putting them in yet. But uh, I'm going to try to do that this weekend. So uh, I'll card that video somewhere up there and uh, you guys can go check that one out. So piggybacking off of my transmission fluid DIY, which I'll also card here in a minute and link it in the description and all that stuff so you can go ahead and check that out because uh, that's something that really every E90 owner should be doing at some point on their car, even though BMW does say lifetime fluid. Uh, if you, you can look at any number of my videos and you can see that I, I completely disagree with that. I think that most people do too. Um, but yeah, anyway, so there's another thing to the transmission. So these cars have what is called... Um, an adaptive transmission and basically the transmission learns your driving style so this is something that you might want to do after you change the fluid uh, I did it I don't know if it's really necessary to do but um, it just figured it was a good idea to do it uh, you also should probably do it when you buy one of these cars so it will learn your driving style as opposed to continuously trying to implement the previous owners driving style and also if you've been doing like a lot of stop and go traffic and you want it to kind of get out of that shifting early habit you can do this too so um, it's really easy to reset the transmission it's just a simple uh, uh, reset thing so uh, basically what we do here is we're just going to put the car into the on position so take your key put it in the dash and turn it to on but don't actually crank the motor okay and then you're just going to sit here in the driver's seat you'll want to go ahead and push your foot down on the accelerator now it says 30 seconds but if you just hold it for a good minute uh, you can use your phone as a timer or something and it will reset so I'm gonna go ahead and cut now and then we'll come back to uh, when I'm done alright guys so it's really about as simple as that just leave your foot on the accelerator and hold it there for uh, 30 seconds to a minute uh, like I said I would just go ahead and do the full minute so that you don't have to worry about having to do it more than once make sure you get it down there's not like it's gonna do anything if you go over the time that's required so you might as well uh, it's really easy uh, I recommend doing this as soon as you purchase one of these cars I'm pretty sure the same process will apply to E60s um, other BMW models E8 it does apply to E82 E88s uh, Maybe some of the newer ones, uh, I don't know for sure, but uh, it's, it's really kind of nice to be able to do it. Because when I first got my car, I thought like something was wrong with it, that it shifted so early. But I guess that was just the previous owner's driving style. And it would try to like, you know, shift from first to second at 2,500 RPM. And I, I'm much rather it shift like 35 to four, four grand. Um, so yeah, but if you found this video informative, go, go ahead and leave it a big thumbs up. And uh, subscribe to the channel if you're new. And uh, I will see you in the next one and get ready for that coilover DIY. I really cannot wait for that. So, later YouTube.